then what are the test approaches or test strategies so choosing the right test strategy is very important for success of the test project if you want to succeed in the testing cycle or you want to succeed in the in the test project you need to select you need to choose the correct test strategy only then it will be possible that you will be able to succeed in the test cycle so major types of test strategies that are commonly used nowadays are um, analytical model based methodical process or standard compliant dynamic um, consultative or directed and regression averse so we will look at these strategies one by one so let's see what is analytical test strategy so in analytical approach analysis of the risk or specification documentation forms the basis of your test design so risk-based strategy and requirement-based test strategy is the analytical based test strategy or test approach because in risk-based strategy you, the risk is the risk of different modules or components of the software is the basis of designing your test cases in requirements based test strategy the requirements document or the requirements that have been given from the stakeholders or business analysts make the basis form the basis of the test design so the other strategy is the model based so test is in model based test strategy testing is based on some defined model for uh, for the testing for example there is some mathematical model being already defined to upload data on servers so if the system confirms the defined model then system is assumed to be working for example you are the, the model has been already defined to upload some data on the server you are uploading some xml files on the server and your xml files while being are uh, while you upload they are being checked by the defined model if they pass that model structure and are being uploaded successfully in your web server that means they pass the um, testing so in model based structure strategy it's all about the mathematical model or the model defined if the test passes that model it is assumed to be passed then the metho methodical um, so in methodical test strategy you adhere to pre-planned and systemized approach that have been defined in-house based on prior experience of testing the application so in methodical approach every organization has when once they start getting experience into all the testing activities they have a defined set of systemized approach to do test planning or to um, to define a strategy so when you adhere to a pre-planned or systemized approach that has been defined in-house by the organization that is methodical approach of testing so for example you use tech checklists which suggest major areas for testing so for example there is a uh, there is a product which is kind of very mature and there is a checklist already been developed because it's a mature product and releases are coming one after the other so there is a checklist already being prepared for that product which mentions which areas you need to test in every release so you'll follow the just that checklist or methodical approach to test that kind of product then methodical approach also follows the industry standards whatever industry standards are being defined methodical approach follows those standards then process or standard compliant so this strategy it follows the standard processes or the com compliance that is defined for example follows the standard for your example uh, for, for your uh, testing for example IEEE 829 standard so if you follow it 829 standard 
that is process or standard compliant because IEEE 829 is a standard then this kind of strategy relies on externally developed standard approach of testing so process or standard compliant relies on externally developed approaches of testing it can follow well-defined standards for example if you're following v model or agile development model so these are standards or processes defined externally so if you follow these approaches then those strategies are known as process or standard compliant strategies then dynamic test strategy so user uses lightweight set of testing guidelines which addresses weaknesses in software so in dynamic test strategy you use lightweight set of testing guidelines which address weakness in the software so the focus in dynamic test strategy is to find as many defects as you can in the test cycle so dynamic test strategy is a lightweight set of testing guidelines that that can be there in in the organization so the main focus is to find as many defects as you can so exploratory testing technique is one of the testing that uh, approach that is used in the dynamic uh, test strategy so there is no much documentation for dynamic test strategy you have a lightweight set that you need to follow in order to perform the testing and then there is consultative or directed approach so in this approach testing is based on the guidance from developers technology experts and domain experts so there is no dedicated um, kind of testing being done in such kind of consultative or directive strategies in this approach whosoever will be testing something he'll he will be guided by the developers or any business expert who will guide him how to do the testing then regression averse so regression averse strategy have the automated set of regression tests which find any regression defect so it is mostly an automated testing uh, set uh, that, so the regression averse is mostly an automated testing in which you automate all your you will try to automate most of the tests of the system functionality and then you execute those automation tests to ensure that nothing has been broken if there are any changes in the software in future releases so regression our strategy is very highly automation um, strategy so most of the things in regression our strategy has to be automated because regression suite needs to be executed again and again so how can you select the right test strategy so some of the factors to consider while selecting test approach are um, risk so for example for established software which is evolving slowly regression our strategy is right approach for example you have a software which has been established from past six years um, and there are new features coming in every three to four months there will be a, a huge amount of regression testing involved with those changes so in this case regression our strategy is the best strategy because you need to execute regression suite again and again in every three months which is very difficult to kind of execute manually uh, because there are huge there would be you know huge number of test cases because the product is very old and has a lot of functionality so for new software risk based approach is best fit so risk is a factor that will consider what strategy you will choose then the second is the skills so what are the skills available in the team do you have automation skills available in the team or you will need to hire somebody from the automation skill set to perform regression our uh, strategy to to follow regression our strategy so if you want to do regression strategy or regression our strategy then you need to have that skill set in your team if you do not have that you cannot go ahead with just having the manual testing resources in the team either you build the automation skills for those um, within the team by doing training 
um, or you need to hire somebody who can perform automation tasks then the other is other factor is objectives so testing must satisfy the needs of stakeholders so what are the objectives that you want to achieve what are the needs of the stakeholders so that's another factor that you need to consider while selecting the test approach so if focus is to find more and more defects then dynamic strategy makes more sense so you will if, if the stakeholders needs that all the end user or, or end to end scenarios need to work fine and most um, most of the end to end scenarios should fine should work fine then dynamic strategy is best fit in this case so based on the objectives of state stakeholder testing you need to select the test approach then any regulations so for example if regulatory requirements need to be met then methodical test strategy that satisfies the regulations is fit so for example you have you are being developing a software for for a defense or air, aircraft industry then there are some regulatory requirements that need to be met in that case method methodical test strategy is fit because it already satisfied the satisfies the regulations then the product if good and extensive product documentation is available then requirements based analytical strategy is good fit for example uh, the product uh, uh, factor is also responsible in choosing the test strategy because if you have extensive documentation and very good documentation already available then it's always a good idea to pick up requirements based analytical strategy and start test documentation from there then what are the business um, so if business consideration are also important in choosing test strategy so any business consideration for example if an existing system can be used to model new system then model based approach should be used so for example um, in in your business you already have an existing system that can use that can be reused then model based approach model based test strategy is the best fit so business consideration is also important for choosing the right test strategy rather than defining a new model based uh, approach or mathematical model you can reuse existing model so that's another factor that will help you to choose right test strategy so to conclude in this session we learned about test planning we learn about what is the purpose of test planning then what are the activities involved in the test planning then we learn about the test estimation how you can do test estimation um, we learn about different techniques for example matrix based and consultative uh, approach to do test estimation in matrix based you use the existing matrix from previous product to do estimation of the current project and in consultative approach you use you consult the team members and business and technology experts to estimate the tasks for the current release and then finally we learn about the test approaches or test strategies that are that can be chosen in the test project